Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Sterling High School for the second game of South Jersey Group 2 playoff action. This time it's the boys playing as the Sterling Knights take on the Haddon, Field, or excuse me, Haddon Heights Gardens. Haddon Heights made their way into the second round by beating Kingsway by a score of 74 to 65. The Knights received the first first round by for receiving the first or being the second seed in the tournament. Think here, so we'll go over the starting lineups once again for the Hannon Hunt Garnets. Season with a uh, tie for the Corona Conference cha Championship with a 16 and 2 conference record with Haddon uh, Haddon Field. Uh, Haddon Heights ended the uh, year fifth in the Corona Conference with an 8 and 10 record. So we'll see what happens here. Sterling won both victories during the regular season. Right to take the jump ball against Spearman. Right for the ball. Castro controls now. He's going to pull up for three right off the bat. No good. Fight for the rebound. Hard to the floor goes Keith Roy and number 32, Mike Spearman. And I believe Spearman is called for the foul. Uh, there's a traveling violation. There's Keen controlling. And he's called for another tra traveling violation as he took one pump fake, got the defender off, and then hesitated on taking the shot. So each team exchanges turnovers on their first possession. Castro bring the ball up, and he gives it over to Spearman. Back to Castro. That's over to McDonald, watched by Wright, trying to go down low to Moore, and he gets the shot. Heights coming out, full court press. Ramo brings the ball over half court. He's there over to Keene at the top. He's going to pull off from downtown, no good. Board brought in by Moore. It's McDonald trying to go inside to Moore. Good shot by Moore to get the ball in midair and put the shot up. Haddon Heights out to an early 4-0 lead here. McLeod working in the paint. Pulls up for the shot off the front of the rim. Right up high for the rebound. It goes off, off his hands and out of bounds. So Knights coming up empty in their first three possessions down the court. And surprisingly, the ball has not been into the hands of their superstar, Ernest Turner. Haddon Heights comes, has, must have come fired up for this game. Right for the ball, Wright comes away with it. He's surrounded by three defenders, manages to get the ball over to Ken Rambo. Rambo will give it over to Keene to bring the ball up. Keene over to Wright. 
There we go. There the ball finally gets to Earn. He's going to drive, pull up for the shot. No good. Right up high for the rebound. He's going to go right up for it and gets it. Good work by Keith Wright to get, get the old board and go straight up with it. There's Castro going from downtown off the mark. Rebound pulled in by number 25, Barry. Going inside to Moore. Goes right out. That's blocked by Wright. And he gets it again. Second one was called for a jump ball. Or, so it'll be Sterling, Sterling ball. Nice defense by Keith Wright. As he throws two shots of Moore. Seems Moore's trying to establish himself down low as a big threat. Keane's going to pull up from downtown again. No good. Up high is right for the board, and he gets it. Keith Wright cleaning up all the rebounds down low today. He's got about three or four to start this game. 5.20 to go, 4-4 four, four game. There's Barry over to Castro. Now Spearman, he's going to go inside to Moore again. Ball off the hands of believe, Keith Wright. He had him fall underneath. Early substitution here for Adam Heights is number 34. Sean Price checked into the game for number 52, Tim Moore. Ball inside to number 32, Spearman. He kicks it out. That's McDonald. Watched by Wright. Gives it over to Castro. Castro trying to drive on Keane. Keane says no. Now he's trying to come across the middle. Gives it over to Sean Price. John Price gets the nice jumper over John McLeod. McLeod hit the deck, trying to draw the foul, but the ref did not buy it. Rambo with a nice spin move on Sean Price, driving over McDonald and gets the two. So Rambo answers with a nice drive of his own. Donald trying to look inside the price. He picks it out to number 32, Spearman. He's going to pull up for three. Off the front of the rim, rebounded by Turner. Turner's going to try to dribble it up. He's watched by Castro. Turner tries to cross him over. Good stick by Castro, and he swipes it from him. Nice defense by Castro. Castro still trying to drive on Keane. Good stick by Pat Keane, but Castro draws the foul. Keane stayed with him all the, all the way, but when Castro went up for the shot, Keane was forced to foul. So Royce Castro will go to the line, shooting two. substitution here is Sean Price. Price has a rest and Tim Moore comes back into the game. So it's an 8-6 advantage here for Haddon Heights. Cloud has the ball for Sterling. He's watched by McDonald. Kicks it out to Keene. Over to Rambo. Top the right. Over to Keene. Good first step by Rambo, penetrates and dishes out to McLeod, but he's unable to handle the ball and goes out of bounds, so Haddon High School get possession underneath. Good job by Rambo to elude the defense of Mike Spearman and dish to McLeod, but McLeod just unable to hold on. As this Haddon High fans starting to return her chant, trying to get under the skin of Ernest. Shot in the corner by number 25, very no good. Another shot, no good. That's McLeod coming down with the O-board, or excuse me, D-board. Akeem running on with it. Akeem's going to go straight to the hole and throws it up, and it's rejected. That's Castro open for three. No good. Rebounded by McLeod. That's Rambo open for three in the corner. That's good.
That's McDonald. Trying to post up on Wright. Wright says, get it out. And then that gets a rise from the crowd. Keith Wright having a little block party here in the beginning with three blocks nearly going. Keen trying to penetrate. Pulls it out. That's Erm. Good pump fake to get the defender up. Penetrates. Loses the handle. Castro comes away with it. Castro, good inside pass to Moore, but he misses the layup. Moore got position on right, but was unable to finish. There's McLeod hitting the jumper, we're just inside the arc. Castro going to Barry in the corner, he's watched by Rambo. He's gonna pull up for three, no good. Long rebound goes off the foot of Rambo, so he had a Heights ball underneath. And we have a timeout called here by Haddon Heights. Castro and man the ball underneath. Gives it over to Price. During that timeout, Price was substituted in for McDonald. Moore trying to get position on McLeod. McLeod able to knock that ball away. Spearman trying to find Castro. Gonna work on Ernest. Ernest rips him. He's gonna bring the ball up now. Rambo, good entry pass inside to McLeod. He's gonna go up for the shot and he's foul hard. So McLeod will go to the line for two. was committed by number 32, Mike Spearman. That's his second, team second. <laughs> Substitution here for Sterling as Keith Wright goes to the bench and in for him is Dave Kogan. Cloud misses those free throws attempts. That's Sean Price penetrating to the hole and getting the layup. Good penetration there by Sean Price. And Ernest Turner trying to counter for his team. Good pump fake to get Price up in the air and he gets the baseline jumper. Castro trying to find Price. He's working on Kogan. Kicks it at McDonald. Inside to Moore. He gets a shot. Good ball moving, but shown there by the uh, Garnets. Gunner trying to split the defenders. Gets across half court. Settles things down. It's Kogan up top. Good pass down low to McLeod. Good look by Kogan to find McLeod wide open underneath. Desperation attempt there by Castro, no good. And after the first quarter of play, Sterling holds a 15 to 12 advantage. In that first quarter, uh, Keith Wright had a uh, big part, pulling down many boards, along with contributing on the, uh, with the points. So to start the second quarter, both teams sent out their starting five. With one change for Haddon Heights, Sean Price into the game. And sitting is Mike Spearman. Price misses the long, uh, layout. That's more with the foul, but Wright comes down with the rebound. 
Rambo's left open. He's going to go straight to the hole and gets the basket. Donald trying to work on Turner. That's Barry. He's called for the tribal violation as he tried to get a quick step on Ken Rambo. Substitution here, number 33, Brent Dempsey comes in the game for number 25, Aaron Berry. Rambo in down the ball on the side for Sterling. Aaron going inside to Keith Wright. Oh, Keith Wright gets the nice shot as he was falling backwards, throws it up and gets the basket. Pass nearly stolen by Jamal McLeod there. Castro gives it over to Dempsey in the corner. Back out to Castro. Trying to go inside to Price. Balls picked around, goes off the foot of Sean Price, throwing ball. Ernest Turner driving strong to the hole and gets the, ba uh, the layup. Good strong drive there by Ernest Turner. There's Sean Price controlling, he's gonna go to the hole, spinning, unable to connect on the layup. Stolen by Price on Keith Wright. Gives it to Moore and he puts it up for the layup. Good hustle by Sean Price to get, get the steal, dish to Moore. There's Keane trying to elude the defensive catcher, dishes to Ken Rambo, he's gonna try baseline, try to kick out, but his foot was on the line. Substitution here for Haddon Heights. Number 32, Mike Spearman comes into the game along with number 25, Aaron Barry. Dempsey along with Sean Price take a sit. Or excuse me, take a seat. Good uh, penetration by Spearman, but he's unable to connect on the layup. Ernest Turner. Crossing over, gets the layup. Good strong move by Ernest Turner on the first break. And Haddon Heist decides to call a timeout and Sterling making a little run here as they run the score to a 25 14 advantage with 538 remaining in the first half. Haddon Heist crowd trying to get their team back into this. Out of substitution, uh, Barry has checked back into the game, replacing Sean Price. That's Moore with the shot, and Keith throws it out of bounds. That's like four or five blocks already by Keith Wright. Three of them, I believe, have been on Moore. McDonald throwing up a prayer, but the ball goes right to Moore, and he puts it up for two. There's Rambo, good pass down low to McLeod. McLeod gonna try to go up strong. Unable to get the basket. Wright goes up, but he's stripped and the ball goes out of bounds. Off the hands of Castro, throwing ball underneath. That's Keen in the corner. He's gonna pull the ball back out. Going to turn, cross court to Rambo. Rambo trying to drive, gets the roll. Nice drive there by Ken Rambo.
Castro pulling off from just inside the three-point line. No good. Fight for the rebound. Wright comes down with it. Gives it over to Keane. Keane's going to run off the court with it. Keane dishes out to Cam Ramo. He's going to pull from three now. Gives it down low to McLeod. McLeod trying to fight up through three defenders. Throws it off the prayer. No good. Rebounded by Wright. He gets the two. Castro going into McDonald. McDonald trying to penetrate on Keith Wright. Throws up a shot. No good. Nice defense by Keith Wright. And he's surrounded by two Adam Wright players. And they force a jump ball. But it will be Sterling ball. Another substitution here as number 52. Tim Moore along with number 32. Mike Spearman coming. Uh, Go to the bench and in for them, number 44, Sean Gemmel, along with 34, Sean Price, come in. Pass manages to get the right and he goes up for the shot and it's blocked by Price. And they force another jump ball. So Price trying to give Wright a dose of his own medicine there. Gemmel going inside the Price. It's stolen by Turner. Price looks to the ref looking for a foul. None forthcoming. Wright manages to get the ball. T tries to give it to McLeod. It's stolen by McDonald, but it's stolen back to by McLeod. He gives it over to Turner. Turner's going to pull up for three in front of Castro. No good. Up high is Price for the rebound. McDonald. That's Gemma wide open for three. There you go, and he manages to get the friendly roll. Strongly saying at the top of the backboard, but Russ saying it now. Ball over to Ken Ramo, he's going to try to penetrate baseline, that's cut off. Tries to go cross court, that's blocked off by McDonald, he kicks it out to Barry. Barry pulling up for the shot, no good. Turner up high for the rebound. Good end to end action here at Sterling High School. There's Keane going from one end to the other. Tries to throw up a layup. No good off the front of the rim. Rebounded by McDonald. Castro brings the ball back up for Sterling. He's trying to, I guess, slow the pace down here. And he took down to 235 remaining in the first half. 29-18 Sterling. There's Gamble over to Barry. Inside to McDonald. Good pass over to Price and he gets the two. Good ball movement there by Haddon Heights. There's Rambo looking inside for Turner. Turner brings the ball back out, gives it over to Rambo. He's going to pull up for three. No, off the back of the rim, fight for the rebound. And McLeod has it, falling out of bounds smartly, banks it off the feet of Sean Price, so it'll be Sterling Ball. Substitution here for Sterling as Dave Kogan will check into the game for Keith Wright. Ramo in the ball, inbound the ball underneath the basket. Cloud penetrating. Shot no good. It's Castro up high for the rebound. Seemed to be poked in the eye there. Gemmo might have got away with there with the travel. That's Price working inside the paint. He's failed by uh, Dave Pogan. That's Kogan's first, team second. Castro and then the ball underneath, gives it out to Gemmel. It's Price trying to penetrate, and another foul called. Do his foul is on Kogan. No, the foul will be on McLeod, that's his first, team's third. Substitution here. McDonald comes back into the game. Gemmel trying to get it down, let him McDonald. Almost goes out of bounds, but Gemmel throws it back in. It's recovered by McLeod. 
Second down to 130 remaining in the first half. There's Rambo trying to drive baseline. No good. Gets his own rebound, though. Nice hustle by Rambo. Rambo trying to find McLeod down low as he was trying to get position on Price, but the ball goes out of bounds. Another substitution for Haddon Heights is Moore checks back into the game for Gemmel. McDonald trying to find more down low. Good pass over to the right, or excuse me, Price. Moore had position on Kogan, and that forced McLeod to come over and, dub and uh, double team, and that left Price wide open on the other side. There's Turner trying to pull up from baseline, no good. Rebounded by McLeod, he goes up strong for the two. Haddon Heist coach Butch McLean stomping his feet, thought there should have been a foul called on the play. Barry driving. Good pass inside to Moore. Everyone on the floor for Sterling seemed to be watching the play of uh, Barry. Left Moore wide open underneath. Rambo trying to drive baseline. Gives it over to McLeod. He's short with the layup. Rebounded by Rambo. That's quickly stolen by Castro. Castro on a break. One on one with Keen. Pulls up for a shot off the front of the rim. Keen comes down with the rebound. Kicks it out to McLeod. McLeod's going to run down with the court with five seconds left. He's going to return on three. So he's going to pull up for three. No good. And that buzzer will end the first half of play with Sterling holding a 31 to 24 advantage. That was a very exciting first or first half. Sterling holds a 31 to 24 advantage. Breakdown of scoring for both teams in that first half. Four had in heights. Castro had two. Spe uh, Spearman had two. Price with six. And Demo two. And the big man, uh, Moore, had 12. For Sterling, McLeod had six, both Turner and Wright had eight, and Rambo led the way with nine. Rambo going inside of McLeod, that's good. Good little five, Rambo to find McLeod on the run, and he gets the layup. Castro walks the ball back up. Goes over to Barry. Or excuse me, that's Spearman. Trying to drive and hard to the floor goes right. The ball went out of bounds, so it'll be Sterling ball. Well, good find uh, by McLeod to find Ram underneath. And this layup attempt is blocked. There's Barry trying to cross out Rambo, but that's stolen by Keen. Keen's going to go all the way in. Yes, the layup. That's McDonald and open for the shot. Drains it. Well, going inside Turner. Turner gets position on Castro, spins and gets the easy layup. Going inside to Moore and he kicks it out to McDonald. Open for the, got the same spot where he was last time, took a shot. Turner, nice lead on Castro. Castro. And it's the reaching foul. Josh is going to have his hands full trying to contain Turner one-on-one. -on -one. Turner controlling. Goes over to Rambo. Pump fake gets McDonald up in the air. But his shot's no good. Oh, side of the rim, remanded by Barry. That's 
Ferry open for the three, no good. Rebounded by 32, Spearman. He gets the follow up. Good bounce pass inside by Keen to McLeod. He kicks it out to Rambo. Back to Keen. Keen open for the three. No good. Ben McDonald open from around that foul line. No good. Rebound up. Comes out to Turner. Keen's going to penetrate. And he's called for the traveling violation. Out the Barry. Excuse me, that's Spearman. Donald working down low on right. He's foul on the play. That's Wright's first foul. Castro up top. Goes down low to Moore. He goes up for the shot and Wright's whistle for the foul once again. Appeared that Wright got the ball, but he might have got part of the body. Nonetheless, Moore will go to the line shooting two. Ball up. Gives it over Rambo. Wide open for three in the corner. Off the side of the rim. Rebounded by McLeod. Nice dish down underneath the uh, right. He puts it up for two. Good look by, Mc by uh, Jamal McLeod. The fine right. Long shot by Spearman. No good. Rebounded by McLeod. And his pass to Keane was Intercepted by Castro. He goes down low to uh, that's Moore. Goes up for the shot, no good. I believe Keith Wright was called for basket interference for slapping the glass. Shooting the technical foul shots. Missed the first and substitution here for Sterling as Kogan that re enters the game for. I believe that is right. Maintains possession after the foul shots, and they quickly go to Moore, and he gets the two. Keen running the ball back up. He pulls it out. Kogan, Kogan trying to go down low to McLeod. It's blocked off by Spearman. Sterling seems a little out of sync here. They're telling him maybe calling a timeout soon. McDonald giving the shot by Kogan, and he drains it. Cuts to a cuts the lead to two. 39-37. 3.20 remaining. King, tough layup, no good. That's Turner fighting for the rebound and he gets it. Big basket there by Ernest Turner.
McDonald trying to find more underneath. Worst shot is rejected by Kogan. Ernest trying to cross over. This layup attempt's no good. Tipped by Rambo, no good. Oh, in and out goes the ball, rebounded by Spearman. Rambo was, was one, uh, one of many trying to get that ball in the, the basket. That's Moore, gets the offensive board, goes up, draws the foul on Kogan. Moore has been a force to reckon with down low. Kogan seems to have been having a little bit of trouble here, containing him. both, but McDonald's there to put back the offensive rebound. Kogan, he's going to pull off from just inside the three-point line. No good. Rebounded by Moore. Adam Heinz could tie the game right here with a two. Go ahead with a three. McDonald looking down low for Moore. And he gets it. Moore that time getting position on McLeod. Strong's got to find some way to stop Moore down low. McLeod gives it over to Rambo. Rambo, that's Keen and open for three in the corner. No good. Rebound goes off Castro and out of bounds. So it'll be Sterling ball underneath. Rambo will take the inbound pass. 41-41-142 remaining in the third quarter. That ball's nearly stolen there and it goes out of bounds off the Sterling players that had him hope to get the ball back. Substitution here for Haddon Heights at number 44. Sean Gemmo checks back into the game and will replace number 25, Aaron Berry. McDonald trying to get the ball to, to that's Sean Price. And going to the floor is Tim McDonald. And they're saying that it was not a shooting foul, so the basket will not count. And Hatton Heights will inbound the ball underneath. There's Price controlling in the corner. He's watched by McLeod. McDonald, he'll take the shot again. That's it, McDonald's heating up here in the third quarter. All his shots were made pretty much in that same area, right where that basketball uh, logo is. By the foul line, there's Rambo trying to drive, and he gets a nice layup. Good job by Ken Rambo to answer. Forty-three, forty-three, with thirty seconds remaining in the third quarter. Here's McDonald. He goes, dishes out the gamble, back out to Castro for three, and he gets it. So Haddon Heights gets their first lead since early in the first quarter. I score forty-six, forty-three. Rambo is going to answer for three. No good off the side of the rim. Fight for the rebound. The cloud comes down with it, but he's double teamed in the corner, and he smartly calls a timeout. Good job by Jamal McLeod to call a timeout. So Sterling will maintain possession with 12 seconds to go in the third quarter. Oh, 
Arson known as a defensive force. Play out. He's trying to get rid of Carson in the corner. That's blocked. Not, excuse me. That's knocked out of balance by Sean Price. Three seconds to go in the third quarter. Got to get a quick shot out here. Keen. He's got to throw something up, and that's no good. It's a strong, strong third quarter there by Haddon Hunts, and they had the lead after three by a score of 46 to 43. This game closer than probably most people thought it would be. Both sides of the gym are, are getting into it. Everyone on their feet here cheering. Not only is there a war going on on the court, there's also a war going on in the stands. Castro giving over to Barry in the corner. That's knocked out of bounds by Rambo, but Haddon Heights will maintain possession. And good defense by Ernest Turner to force the jump ball. And Sterling will get the ball back. Rambo, he's going to try for the three to tie. No good. Rebounded by Spearman. McDonald, he's watched by Wright. Going down low to Barry, out of bounds. It's good that Keith Wright has checked back into the game for the Knights. He's been a defensive uh, force in this game, having his own block party tonight. Oh, hard to the floor goes right as he was knocked down by Barry, but no foul call, but Rambo takes a shot, and there is a foul. Hard way that no foul was called on Keith Wright as he went to the floor hard. And he's now getting an explanation from the ref on why there was no call. Goes to the line, shooting two. Sinks them both to cut the lead to one. 46-45 Haddon Hoinks with 6.55 to go. Castro over to Barry, back to Castro. Inside to Sean Price, he's watched by McLeod. Pulls off for the shot, gets it. Is over to the right. In the cloud. Over to Rambo. There's a foul away from the play. Foul will be caught on Castro as he was trying to stay with Ernest Turner. Ernest trying to get himself free. Ernest has had pretty much a quiet game tonight. There's Ernest Turner penetrating, throwing up a shot, no good. Ernest goes to the floor looking for a foul, but none forthcoming. 
Castro from way downtown. No good. He was in a different town there. King left open for the three, he gets it, he ties the game. King finally connects on the three pointer after missing the previous two. Ties the game up 48-48 with 5.45 to go. There's Barry trying to penetrate, no good. There's Ernest Turner coming down the board, he's on a fast break. He gets by Castro, goes up strong on Barry and draws the foul. Timeout now is now called by Haddon Heights. <laughs> Turner got the line, trying to put Sterling ahead. First attempt off the back of the room. It's a second. Sterling regains the lead. 49-48. Barry trying to work on Turner. Turner knocks the ball out of bounds. That's Price in the corner for Haddon Heights. Nearly stolen away by Wright. Cross court to Castro. He's trying to find Moore inside. Moore and McLeod battling down low for position. Price gets it, he drives, misses the layup. There's Keen down the other end. Keen over to Wright. Wright loses control of the ball. Oh, no, it's turned over. Rambo gets control of baseline jumper, no good. Price up high for the rebound. Ball's loose. Wright trying to dive on it. Fight for the ball, Ken Rambo. Oh, and they call it jump ball. It appeared that Haddon Heights never had possession. like a bad call on part of the ref. Ben Heights appeared did, that they didn't have possession. If anything, they could have been called for a foul on Ken Rambo. Nonetheless, Hyden Heights controls the ball with 4.35 to go. There's McDonald working on Rambo. Gives it over to Price. Price trying to get inside the Moore. First shot no good, gets his rebound. Follow up as now he draws the foul. That was on the cloud. That's his second. Team six. First free throw was made, ties the game. However, he misses the second. Up high is Turner for the rebound. Turner's got Rambo wide open down low. Pass is cut off by Moore. Turner had Rambo wide open, but hesitated for one split second, and that allowed Moore to get over and make the steal. McDonald gives it at the Price. Price watched by Wright. Price, the Price shot's no good. Rebound by Price. Excuse me, the rebound 
first was made by Moore, but his shot was no good. Rebounded by Price, and he puts it in for two. Height, Heights goes back on top by two. 3.35 to go. Key wide open for three. No good. Ball goes out of bounds off the hands of Price. Sterling will maintain possession underneath. open on the other side. Puts the ball in the corner. Ball swings its way to Rambo. Rambo over to Keene. He's wide open for three again. No good. Keene has had a couple of chances now to put Sterling ahead by one. But just unable to connect. Ball's ripped. Turner on the break. Gets the layup. Good job by Ernest Herter to steal the ball from Spearman and go in for two. Ties the game 51-51 with 2.55 to go. There's Price up top. He's going to try to drive on uh, right. Dishes out. He Spearman banks it off the glass for three. There's Rambo open for three. Could he tie the game? No, fight for the rebound is Turner. He comes down with it. He goes up strong. He draws the foul on Sean Price. Good hustle by Turner to get the board and draw the foul. He's going to go to the line for two. Gets the friendly roll in the first. Substitution here for Haddon Heinz is Barry checks back into the game for Price. Hunter misses the second, so it's a two point lead. Right, up strong with the rebound, goes over and ties the game. Right once again, cleans up the mess down low and puts the ball back up for two. 54 54, two minutes to go. What a battle down low between Price and McLeod. There's McDonald penetrating, missed the layup, fight for the rebound, and Rambo comes down with it. And he very smartly decides to walk the ball up, gives it over to King across half court. Throwing the size of call, timeout. What a game here, 54-54, 1.41 remaining. During that timeout, Coach Hunter went over a play that they're gonna try here. Try to give him the lead. Goes over to Earn. There's a foul on the floor. That's their 17 foul, so Earn will go to the line shooting one and one. This is where free throw shooting plays a crucial part in the game. Erm puts the team ahead by one. Makes them both. So 56 54. Looking inside of McDonald, that's blocked off by Wright. And Rambo controls the ball. Oh, 
This ball over to Keenan. Keenan smartly calls a timeout. Go over another play. 108 left. Sterling up by two. Holder, Coach Holder going to try to come up with a time consuming play here. Here we go, both teams come out of the timeout. Strong will end down the ball on the side. Ran out to do the honors. They get the ball in the Turner's hands. Castro trying to go for the steal. There's McLeod. Turner trying to penetrate, ball's knocked away from him, jump ball. Ball will remain in the hands of Sterling. Now a timeout has been called once again. I believe this one will be called by Haddon Hunt. Throwing ball underneath. Rambo will remain the ball. It's going to go up top to right. Nearly stolen by Price, but right comes down with it. Kicks it over to Key. King over to McLeod. And McLeod is fouled hard by McDonald. McLeod go to the line, shooting one and one. 33 seconds to go in the game. Substitution here, it's 52, Moore comes back into the game. Nobody plays Barry. Okay, I just got to bear down, concentrate on making these two shots. And Lord knows it's tough trying to concentrate with this crowd. This attempts long off the back of the rim, rebounded by Price. There's Castro. Now Haddon Heist calls another timeout. 22 seconds to go. Let's see if uh and I'm going to hold for the last shot. Two to tie. They need two to tie and three to go ahead. And Spearman. So both teams coming out with their starting five in the remainder 22 seconds. And it's Castro holding. Trying to go inside to Moore. McDonald is stripped by Wright. Wright's going to go all the way for the jam, and he gets it. And that could seal the deal with four seconds, three seconds. Tonight's out of timeouts. Two, one, and that's the end of the game. And the fans start pouring out to the floor. Keith Wright coming through in the clutch, ripping the ball and going in for the dunk to win the game. What an exciting game here at Sterling as they advance to the next round of the Group 2 playoffs. Final score here at Sterling. Sterling Knights 58, Haddon Height Garnets 54.